Hi guys, this is Tanya here with Memory Lane Keepsakes and welcome back to my channel. I went back to Hobby Lobby because I was trying to help out a craft friend who needed me to look for some items for them. They had seen some of the things I picked up and they asked me to go. They said, Tanya, can you please go ahead and go back and see if they have some of those same similar items? Let me know and I will pay you for them. I was like, okay, that's cool. So I went back and not only did I find pretty much most of the things that I um, had that they wanted, I also found some extra things that was not marked down the day that I was there. So I wanted to share that with you guys. All right, so first up, I have this cutting template and these are the birds that I found. I love dies. So that's one of my other things that I really, really like um, in addition to stamping. And what I love about this die right here is the fact that when you cut it out, the wings are fixed to where they can be 3D. I mean, this is really adorable. And I only paid $3.25 for it, and you guys see the price that it was. So that was an amazing find there. And this is what it looks like on the back. So when you cut it, it basically does that with the wings. So if you're looking for that, that's one thing there. Okay, and the next die I found was this one here. Um, this die right here is great because Valentine's is co definitely coming up. And this one I only paid $3.25 for, and you see the original price was that. So this is a nice cutting die here. I really like this one. And I found this one here. This one here was only $2.50, and I like the fact that it has all the stars in it, and then it has the moon. And this can be used in so many different ways. And then in this one here, it says the word dream. I love this one. This one's really cute. I really like this one that I found. This one here is would be great for like a um, city background. So it actually has three different die cuts here. So it has the city right here um, die cut as well as at the bottom. And then it also has a bridge. And this one was only $3.25. And again, that was the original price for it. So that was a great find right there. I found this one here. This one here is actually a little house. The die itself doesn't do it justice, and I'm so glad they have that little picture there to pretty much kind of show you what this die cut will end up turning like once you choose to use it. But this one was $3.25 as well, and it was originally priced at $12.99. Okay. I have always loved Disney and so I found this Minnie Mouse one here and this one was priced at $2.50 and I'm trying to see if the original price was on it and it's not showing but this is basically what you can do with it when you die cut this image out and that is just so cute. I love this one. I've always had a theme for Disney um, characters and I also in addition to the Minnie Mouse I found the Fairy Godmother. This is the fairy godmother, and she is adorable as well. I like the fact that she came with a little face stamp. So this is her face stamp here, and then that's the die. And this one was $3.75, and it was originally priced at $14.99. And that's what it looks like on the back. All right, now on to my spell binders. For my spell binders, I found the unicorn and it was priced at $3.75. It was originally $14.99. And this one has four dies inside of it. As you see, it has the rainbow, the unicorn, and the clouds. Okay, and this one right here, this is my um flamingo. This one's the tropical paradise. This one was also priced at $3.75, and that was the original price there. And this one has four dies in it as well. These dies was priced really well, guys, because a lot of them were $14.99 originally or $9.99, like this one here, for example. This one was $9.99. I only paid $2.50, and I love doing anything related to frappuccinos, coffee, hot drinks, or anything like that. So this one was a perfect find for me. I really adore um, anything coffee-related, and I know a lot of people out there love to decorate with coffee as well. So that was another one there. Okay, and then I also found this one here. This is the Woodland Deer, and it has two dies in this one. This one is priced at, um, actually, I got it for $3.75, but it was originally $14.99. The, um, the one that's covered up there. I'm thinking a lot of different ways how I'm going to use that. I was thinking that would be a good time. If you die cutting this one, 
to pull out my um I'm trying to think of the name of it. Flocking powder. That's it. The flocking powder will be awesome on this image right here. And the way you would do that, actually, you know what? I'm not gonna even tell you guys. I'm gonna save it for a video so that way I can show you guys. So just keep that in mind that I'll be coming back to show you something like that later on in the year. Okay, and then I found this awesome find right here. This one here really grabbed my attention because how big it was. Three huge dies inside of this one, guys. And this one right here is called the Joyous Celebrations. I only paid $5 for it, and it was priced at $19.99. And look at the silhouette on this image right here. That's what it looks like when you cut it out. I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous. And it's got some weight to it as well. And I really like the way that looks. So that is awesome. And then I also found this one right here, another silhouette, another joyous celebrations. This one right here was $5 and it was originally $19.99. And this is the image right here. This is the die. And this is the image and what it looks like. That is just too stinking cute. I love these two. When I saw these two dies, I was really surprised they were even still sitting there. Like that was amazing. Um, I didn't. I really haven't seen anybody haul these yet, so I just definitely want to show those in case you guys was wondering what type of dyes they had. So that was two of them there. All right, and then in addition to that, I found this one right here, um, which was the wagon wheel, and this is a nice background die. I really like this one. This one was five dollars. And then I also found. This one here is called the um, Centrum, um, Symmetry in Space. This is a beautiful one too. And these dies are really a good size. Both of these are. And then I found the stamp and die set. And this one right here comes with stamps. And it says, holy guacamole, how adorable is that? And it says, let's give them something to taco about. And that is just too stinking cute. I love this little taco image in the face. And then look at the little dies right here. That is adorable. This was priced at $4.25 and it was originally priced at $16.99. So that was that one there. And then I also found this one here, which was um, this cute stamp set with the dies. It says, wink, wink, it's your time to shine. And it has the beautiful eyelashes there. And I love the light bulb. I don't have any light bulbs, but I got this because of that light bulb, actually. And then it says, brilliant. I love that. And how it has a die cuts for the light bulb as well as the lips. I love that. And this was also priced at, um, this was actually $5, and it was um, originally $19.99 for this one. So a little difference, but not too much. $0.75 cents more, and that's still not bad for the stamp set and the coordinating dies. I mean, that was really awesome. Okay. And then in addition to that, I actually found some more Tim Holtz items. The Tim Holtz die set that I found was this right here. And it's this beautiful house. Now, I normally don't like to get these because they're so big and bulky. But, you know, I like the fact that it had all the dies to um, cut this whole little house right here out. And so you can paper piece it together. Um, this one originally was $24.99. And I only paid $6.25. That was a heck of a deal. So I was really ecstatic about, you know, bringing this one home. Um, but this is what it looks like on the back. So it has all these different... Um, the blades basically come up from this die right here is how this one works. And this is called the um, Village Winter. And that's the number if you guys are looking for it. But yeah, this is awesome. And then in addition to that, I found another Tim Holtz die that was similar to that. And that was this right here. This one was originally $24.99 as well and I only paid $6.25 for that one. And look at the difference of the house on this one here. Um, and I like the fact that they show this image as well as that one because I believe you can do both with this die. But it shows all the pieces at the top right here what you're going to be working with. So these are the two dies that I found. And to me that was a heck of a deal I tell you. That was so awesome. So I want to give those a try and see how I like it. And if I like it then that may be something I may, you know, later on may want to start collecting. 
okay and i'm almost finished guys um and so now on to my scissor dies um these are the dies that i found i saw a lot of people hauling this and i have this one right here it says hola and that means hello in spanish um and so this is a dollar 75 is what i paid and it was originally 6.99 this other one here is Gracias, which means thank you. And that there was also $1.75 and it was originally $6.99. And then this is one of my favorites because, again, Valentine's is coming up. So this is going to be awesome to use. But you can also use it throughout the whole year because of the meaning. Amor. Amor means love in Spanish. And this one was also $1.75. So this was a really great find here. Okay, and then in addition to that, I found this scissor one right here. It says Warm Holiday Greetings, and it comes with four dies, and also the stamps, as you see. And this one here was priced at um, $9.99 originally. I only paid $2.50 for this one here, and this one is too cute. And this is what, the, what it looks like if you was to put it together, use the stamp, and then die cut it out. And then I found this one right here which was the emoji and I was so happy to get my hands on this one this one was originally priced at $10.99 and I only paid $2.75 for it not only do you get the embossing folder you also get a lot of die cuts with it too so you get this die cut in here and the die cuts in here and it's, it can also be a shaker um, card as well. And I'll show you on the back what it looks like. So this is what the card would look like if you complete the whole thing together. That is so awesome with the little emojis inside of it. And the little emojis are right here. That's the dies for it. I love this. This is really awesome. I think that's one of my favorites right there. Okay, and then I found this one here. And this one here was $5. It was originally $19.99. And this one was a great find. This is um, the Thin Lit Dies. I love these. And these. This one is really big. It's really big. So that's that one. And then I also found this one here. This one is the Tim Holtz. And this one has, this one was $5. And it's like the background of the buildings. That's an awesome find as well. And then I found this one here. This one um, was only $5. It was originally priced at $19.99. And this one right here is by Lori Whitlock. So this is a great one. Because it, I mean, this, I like the way it stands up. I don't have any like this. And this is a great um, die. I'm excited to be working with this one here when I get my chance. And this thinlet die right here is um, a deer and it's just I love it I love the antlers on this deer here you could do a lot with that this one was only $3.25 and it was originally $12.99 and then I found this one right here which was originally $14.99 and I got it for $3.75 it comes with the embossing folder the stamp as well as the two dies so it's like a tag die and then the die to cut out the stamp image and that was the price for it there. And this is by um, Tim Holtz as well. Okay, and my last two things to show you guys. I This this right here was the find of the day, I tell you. So this one right here is the Framelit Drop-Ins. So this is the Merry Christmas one I found. This was originally priced. This is a Stephanie Bernard Framelit Drop-In die. And it's funny because I took her class... Um, doing the last um, show that we that was in town here in uh, Georgia, so this one was priced at twenty one ninety nine. Paid five fifty for it. Look how huge this die is. I mean, it is huge. So look how beautiful that is. So now I know how to use these because she taught the class about what are framelits and drop ins and how do you use them to apply to your card and everything. That was amazing um, class. So if you guys are looking to go to the new the craft show later on this summer, you definitely want to definitely take her class. I'm telling you, I learned a lot in there. Okay, and then I found this one here, which is a happy birthday. And this one was also priced at $21.99 and I paid $5.50 for it. So those were the two that I was just so excited about. And that's what the die looks like. All right, so if you guys have stayed with me this long, and you have watched my whole Hobby Lobby video showing my dies and my haul today. I want to thank you so much to everyone who has showed me so much love and support on my channel. 
I appreciate you guys watching my videos and also subscribing to my channel. It has truly warmed my heart, guys. I've seen my numbers go up there and I that's just it's really touching my heart that everybody is supporting my channel. It means a lot to me. I've met some uh, some awesome people from YouTube. And I love being able to share tips and different things with you guys. So this is what I want to do. This is a hidden giveaway if you have stayed with me this long. What I want to do in order to enter for this hidden giveaway, you must be 18 years or older. You must be a visible subscriber. And you must give this video a thumbs up. And also, you need to comment below without mentioning the hidden giveaway in your comment. You need to comment below what is your favorite craft machine and when i say craft machine that's in relation to what is your favorite dye machine meaning do you like the scissor the cuddle bug the gemini like what is your favorite craft machine in a sentence as well as telling me what you enjoy most about this video and by doing this that'll let me know that you want to be entered into this giveaway but please do not mention the giveaway in your comment um also so for one of my YouTube subscribers, I would like to bless someone by giving you guys one of the dyes that I um, got an extra one of. And then in addition to that, I will be making you a handmade card. And um, this is open to my U.S. subbies as well as my international subbies. So if one of my international subbies do happen to win... I will, um, if it's too much to mail out the die as well as the card to you, I will just go ahead and put something in your PayPal account, but I'm going to see which one is reasonable, and then we'll kind of go from there. But let me show you the die that you guys will be getting. So this is the die right here. So I'm going to give you the Amore die. This is the one you will be getting in a handmade card from my channel. So I definitely want to bless you guys with that. So go ahead and make sure you comment if you want to participate in this hidden giveaway. I want to thank you guys so much for taking out time to join my channel yet again. This is Tanya with Memory Lane Keepsakes. And if this is your first time joining me, don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click that bell and also give me a thumbs up on this video as well. You guys are so awesome and I appreciate everything you have done. You guys keep continue to craft. And I will be back with another video later on. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.